Hello, today I will be setting my electric drums up to, to record to my computer or laptop rather. I will be doing this in two different ways, audio and video. It's great to hear where you need to improve. It's also even better to see where you need to improve. But first of all, we have to get her hooked up to the, com the, the drums to the computer. Now I will be using this port right here. The older computers had two of them, one for the mic, and one for the headphones. Unfortunately, the new ones, I got cheap on us, and this used one, and you share it. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it don't. That's just that. It should have left it alone. But nevertheless, I will be using this port here to record from, and we will get into it a little later how we get the audio over to it with one of these types. First of all, you need a cord male such as uh, the size of it is the same size of your headphones that you would plug into your computer. First of all we just simply uh, plug it in at this port and sometimes it will pop up a screen to let you choose headphones or mic and it didn't do that so uh, we have to go into the program and so we will just simply we have to go to settings and find HD audio management. Yours may say something different. It depends on what kind of computer you got. And we just simply will click on it and do it manual and there it is. If it pops it up or you have to do it manual, it will ask you here, headset, microphone, line in or whatever. We were gonna, we will click on mic in. And okay it. And we should be ready to record. Okay, once we have done that, we will simply go over to module on your drums and where the headphones go, you will simply plug it in to there. And you should be ready to record. After you have got your connection all connected up and ready to record. Now say for instance if you're going to use your computer to uh, play the music through. And if your computer has a headphone set and a mic set on it. Now the one that goes to the headset on your module on your computer will go through the uh, mic set on the computer because you want sound to coming out of your drum module going into your computer to where that you will get a signal to record. Okay, say for instance you want to play music through your computer and record as well. Well, if your computer has a jack that has uh, headset and a mic set you just simply will now to get the sound you will plug you actually you will reverse it on your computer or laptop or whatever device you're using to record you will simply plug into the headset and on your computer you will have a AUX I mean excuse me on your drum module you will have a place on it somewhere it says AUX input mine is right in the back and you will simply plug into that okay say that you have one of these weird setups like mine that where you are sharing a mic and a headset what do you do well what I had to do I had to purchase this little device here which is an external sound card basically you plug it in the USB port and as you can see on it hopefully you can see that you have a place for the headset and we want the headset and you have the place to record as well it, it will do both and you can use both you just have to set this you just have to set the settings on this device here okay after purchasing this for about eight bucks, I now can record while playing music through this laptop. 
So what we'll simply do is find a USB port, plug it in, and now we will want to plug the other end into your module on your drums in the AUX end position and that allows you to put sound into this back out of it back into your computer to where you can record and play your music as well. After you have plugged your external sound card in now, there's a few adjustments that we need to make on this to make sure that we're going to get a proper recording. And what we need to do is right here, find a little speaker on your two bar down at the bottom and right click. And it will bring up such as this. Okay, we want uh, playback devices. And when you click on it, you will see speaker C media USB and that's what this one here the USB audio device is now which depending on I guess whatever type you purchase will be what it says but here's the one would be for the computer so we want to make sure that the one for the USB port audio device or the external is clicked and we see that it is so we okay it. once again I always like to go and check and we right clicking again and I like to check out the recording device as well and as you can see the uh, recording device will be uh, through the uh, the computer or microphone uh, to the mic one on your computer as you can see it's click not the C USB audio driver it's just on standby so we checked and we're good there so that lets us know that we are good to go to record now we need some way to record on your computer or laptop or whatever device you're using now here's a program that I use and it's a free download. You just simply type in Audacity download, software download, and you will find this to download and to put on your computer. And there's a few adjustments to go through. I will be using that to record my audio. You can also edit if, if you're doing like a, going to make you an MP3. And want to break them down like if you download a concert and uh, you uh, convert it over into mp3 you can put it on this and go tracks and you can set it up track one two three four all the way through it it's kind of like you would have on a cd but to just record to practice with we will just be recording with it today that's one device that we will use to record with okay as you can see we're hooked up and you want to make sure you got good cords plugged in if not you're going to get this racket that I've got but you see that we plugged in and ready to record and when adjusting this though you don't want it to be plumb red line it's kind of as you can see go to the let it go to the yellow or barely tip the red you don't want it to just be blurring out the audio will not be very clear. And there went my drumstick. Okay, now that we have all of our hookups and ready to uh, record, we have our Audacity app and we have a device up, our media player to play our music on. And at this point, what we will do, we will simply start recording, hit record, and hit play the music and we are ready to do this and let's do it
Okay, we see that it played just fine on Audacity. Now, if you want to save this, you simply will go over to Files if you're using Audacity and whatever device you use, you just want to uh, export it, export audio, and it'll ask you where and to title it. Let's just put something on it. We'll put a bunch of T's on it for whatever reason, just to find it. Now, whatever you're listening to, whatever you want to remember, like that was like a soft jazz song, you, uh, you would title it and uh, you would know where to find it. And uh, for right now, let's just put it on desktop and you save it. And it, some of them ask you, you can fill out the name of it and all that if you want to. And as you see, it's a saving it. And that's pretty well it. Okay, another way is on most computers it has a built-in webcam or some kind of device that you can record video and audio at the same time. And uh, you will simply just bring that device up and you can also have video with your drum practicing. And audio is great, it gives you full hearing of what you're doing. But when I'm practicing sometimes, I just want to see what I'm doing and hear it as well. And that helps me to go back and correct my mistakes or areas that I would like to improve on. Okay. Okay, now we'll do a video. As you can see, I've, this Windows 8 stuff messed up. But nevertheless, uh, I've split the screens out. I've got my recorder on this side and my music on this side to where I can tell maybe what I'm doing. So you simply just start the recording. Here we go. And start your music. Okay, you just, now that we've recorded our video, you will go to the file that you have put it on and play it. Here it goes. And there's our recording of our how to set up and record on our computer and to uh, an easy cheap way. I paid nothing out. I paid about eight bucks for this little feller. But if yours has the input for both, you won't have no problem. So there we have it.